Some have been displaced by war from other cities, others were born here in Tartus. Either way, in the souk this morning, sentiment was clear. What do you think about Russia, Putin? Oh, very, 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 very good. Very, very good. Very, very. You like Russia? Yes. Yes? Yes. <laughs> okay. Putin. Putin is the source of justice, he says. Putin? Ah, the king. The king. Putin is the king. The view here seems to be unanimous. This is really the heartland of President Bashar al-Assad's power. And people I've been speaking to say the Russians are their brothers and they're hoping that these airstrikes mean the beginning of the end of the war. Enthusiasm for Russian airstrikes is fueled by desperation. If Satan comes here to save us from those terrorists, I'd welcome him. Tartus is a holiday resort for Syria's dwindling middle class. But just down the coast from the cargo vessels, are warships docked at the Russian naval base, where they bring in much of the hardware they're using now. The governor told me he's sure Russia will have an impact on the Islamic State or Daesh. We can see that the Russians are determined to defeat Daesh and the terrorists, whereas by contrast, the Americans and their coalition don't seem to have the same determination in the last year, they said they were fighting terrorism, but Daesh grew stronger, not weaker. So we can say their coalition is not serious. The Martyr's Wall, for the young men who've died fighting for this government. He lost a cousin. They should have done this earlier. We were under pressure for a long time, and the army did their best. But more than 80 countries are fighting us, and we lost many loved ones. I believe it's the Russians, not the Arabs, who are our brothers. She lost a nephew. I'm very pleased. Maybe this will bring results and Syria will be beautiful, like it used to be. Here they see all their martyrs as victims of terrorism. They're not talking about negotiation or compromise, but now with Russian help, victory.